let's talk about pyramids. Happy Saturday and welcome back to Friend Ever. Today we are talking about something that I've been working on for a few weeks now. I've got a few people that I talk to. Make sure it's kind of a universal outlook on what we're going to talk about today. Today we're talking about the friendship pyramid. What is the friendship pyramid? Well, you know when you are like in middle school or in elementary school or even now, you're always like, so-and-so is my best friend. This person is my best friend. I could tell them anything, I could trust them with anything, I want to spend time with them. This person is my person, this is my best friend. And while that is true to some extent, the older you get the more you will see that best friendship uh, or any level of friendship is a tier, T-I-E-R, a tier. Thinking about this stuff, I want to narrow down what you can expect in each level of the friendship pyramid. Because when I was a kid, I thought, when I say kid, I mean when I was younger, so middle school, elementary school, when I was younger, I just assumed that everyone in my circle was my best friend or my really, really good friend and I could trust them all equally. They all cared at the same level for me. Um, and when you're when you're younger, it, you really don't have a whole lot of stakes involved in that. But it's kind of like, if I had known this back then, I feel like I would have had a different outlook. So what I have said from the beginning, if this helps even one person, it's worth it for me. I want you to picture in your mind something like the food pyramid. Not so much something like the Great Pyramids of Giza, but I'd like you to think of like a 2D pyramid with five levels. I'm going to try to create a graphic to go with this video. Hopefully you'll see something right around here that kind of walks you through what I'm saying. But just for visualization purposes, think of that. Let's start from the bottom. Level one. Bottom of the friendship pyramid is acquaintances. Feel free to pause this video if you want to make this graphic or if you want to journal about it or if you disagree with me and need to write your comment. Feel free to pause it and collect your thoughts or whatever. In this five level pyramid, the bottom is acquaintances. Now, the definition of acquaintance does vary, but here are some key characteristics to think of when you're thinking of acquaintances. A lot of times acquaintances, uh, well, let's break down the word first of all. Acquaintance means to be acquainted with someone definition of an acquaintance was something someone you are familiar with so in that case you don't really know them that well you're familiar of them but you don't really know them so sometimes it could be like co-workers at your job you don't really work closely with them but you know they work there someone who's in your math class that you see in the halls but you don't really know them you know your na their name but you don't have any sort of relationship with them sometimes this is a friend of a friend oh I'm friends with person a who knows person B therefore we're acquainted with each other but we don't have a relationship. Other instances like if you're at a conference and you see that person a few times a year, but you don't have any relationship with them outside of that. Those are acquaintances. Now what you can, I, I think I'm going to go into a different video on what to expect at each level because this is so much information I don't want to just like just like rush to plug it in all to one video. I really want to take my time but that's what you can expect at level one. Level two. Level two is just friends. So you got acquaintances and then you got friends. Friends usually have a thing in common. You have your buddy that sits next to you in science class. You only talk to them in science class. You share pencils, but you don't really have a relationship with them outside of that thing that you have in common. You both play the piano. You both took piano lessons when you were a kid and you've kind of stopped staying in touch, but you're, you're just friends. So you're more than acquaintance because you try to stay in touch somewhat, but you don't have like a serious relationship with that person. Sometimes friends are like colleagues, people that you work with closely, but again, your relationship only is limited to that, only limited to your workplace. You don't take that relationship home with you. You don't invite them over for a barbecue. Your friend is just at that level, at that place. You can always expect them to be at that place, but your relationship does not span outside of that. At this level, you can't really expect favors from people. like. These people aren't going to take you to the airport. They're not going to watch your kids for you. It's it just, it's just, it just is. Oh yeah, my friend does that. Oh yeah, like it's, it's nothing more than what you have in common and the limited time that you dedicate to that friendship. Level three. Level three I have labeled as good friends. Good friends. So you got friends, you got good, you got acquaintances, friends, and good friends. Good friends also typically have a thing in common, but the thing in common spills out into your real life. 
like you want like this thing brought you together but you hit it off and so you spend more time together you invest in that relationship you guys go out to dinner you make an effort to make the thing that brought you together not be the only thing that holds you together sometimes good friends are the ones you grew up with there are people that I would consider very good friends, but we don't live near each other anymore or we don't have that thing in common, but I still have history with that person and I would consider them a good friend. At this level, you can expect some favors, help you move, help take you to the airport, that kind of thing. But don't be surprised if it like doesn't work out, that they don't change their schedule to help you. When you, the next time you are with a person, you don't have to label them and like put them into a category, but just so you know. Because there were times in my life when I thought, oh my word, this person is a good friend, but it turns out they were really just friend that, that didn't really care to invest in much in our relationship as I cared to, which had I known that would have saved me a lot of time, a lot of energy, and some heartache. Another thing to note is that these tears will fluctuate as your seasons of life change. You may move, you may switch jobs, their priorities may have shifted. It, it's not a concrete thing, but every level of friendship requires an element of effort, even acquaintances. Your effort in acquaintanceship is to remember their name, where they're from, it's not that hard. To make it onto the pyramid requires some element of effort. Tier four, this is where I really wanna focus on. Tier four is your best friends. So when I was young, I thought I had my one best friend and we were a set and then our other friends were a set of best friends, but, but in this tier, you should find nearly unconditional love and support. And when I say nearly, because everything has its limits, but in best friendship, you should have as close to nearly unconditional love and support as you can get for humanly possible. And that is for both best friends. If you find yourself in a relationship where the one person is not putting in the effort, first of all, go back and look at some of the other videos that I've done. See if you can learn anything from that. You might not be in the best friendship tier that you thought you were in if you don't see that element in there. In this tier, you're gonna find the highest level of trust out of all the following tiers out of all the previous tiers because you'll find that there are some things that are just not appropriate and I don't mean appropriate as in like versus inappropriate inappropriate in the traditional sense I mean just there's just some things that you should keep to yourself or that you can only share to one level of tier and not the other and I trust that with time you'll understand what that means because I it, you can't define it you can't just like put it in a box and say this is what that means but there's some things that you can tell your best friend about yourself about your life that you just can't tell a friend in best friendship you're gonna find the desire to spend time with one another you're going to want to make time to be with that person you're going to want to have dinner have coffee, go shopping, girls night out, girls night in. You're never too old to pop some bazookis in the oven, have a game night, to have a slumber party, whatever. It's still in there, you still are gonna like it, but I digress. So, best friendship, that tier, you're gonna find the desire to want to spend time with one another. Again, if you are in a friendship, in a best friendship and you don't have these characteristics one of you is not valuing the other one like they should and i know that sounds harsh and i know that sounds controversial and i'm not trying to go out here and wreck friendships but i am just saying that this information is for you personally what you were going to tell that person or whatever and not all best friendships are created equal okay they're just not you could have 25 years of best friendship with a person and not hit every single thing in this tier but generally speaking it's going to be roughly this level best friendship is where you're going to find the favors aspect where it should work out for you it you should sacrifice for that other person they need you to take them to the airport at five o'clock in the morning well that is not a great job, but they're your best friend and they should do that for you and you should do that for them. Sacrifice. Oh, they're moving on Saturday and they need your truck to borrow to take some boxes over. Sacrifice, sure, but they're your best friend. They are one of your best friends. They're in that tier. Make the sacrifice for them. Schedule permitting, life permitting, you should make a sacrifice for your best friend. The last tier is I'm, I'm not going to talk about like at all because I don't have any experience in it, but your last tier is your spouse. So the highest of the friendship pyramid is your spouse. I do know a bit about just, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and that kind of stuff. And the top usually means it's the least significant, the least of the pyramid or the of the, the less amount you should have. So take the food pyramid, sweets and whatever is at the top, Maslow's hierarchy of needs the thing that's at the top is the least essential for a happy, healthy life or whatever, but it's still essential. In our pyramid, your spouse is who you trust the most, your ride or die. I think that that term only applies to your spouse. That's just me. 
again i'm not married so i can't really comment on that but just so you know that the top level of the pyramid is spouse let's recap acquaintanceship friends good friends best friends spouse in closing this video a couple of notes and this is the shout out to kayla horton who helped me kind of put this together and, and was my sounding board for some of this she's the one who brought up that th some things are not appropriate to share in the tears first of all if you're struggling if you've got a burden your friend that you don't really have an investment in um first of all they probably don't care that's sad they probably don't care about that and they're not the one that's going to help you through that but a good friend or a best friend is you've got something in your past something traumatic again it's it's kind of like the when you walk with someone hey how are you doing and they're like oh, oh my dog got ran over oh i'm terrible because my great grandpa's niece died like when someone says hi how are you doing you just say i'm well how are you i'm doing well thank you you don't have to like unload on them the second like well i'm so glad you asked my job is just driving me into the ground it's called pleasantries for a reason the second thing i want to bring up is that an upper tier friend should be inspirational they should be inspiring to you they should be inspiring you to be your best self if your best friend does not strengthen you and does not sharpen you to be to want to be a better person or to lead a better life or to do great things just think of what that impact is on your life i can't say what impact that is but you can so an upper tiered person should be an inspiration to you last thing is that the seasons of life and time the passage of time the seasons of life may fluctuate these tears a little bit so the person who i consider my best friend when i was a kid i would say we're like acquaintances now i mean i do i do have history with her so maybe she's just maybe it's like a friend i would say she's a friend now so I don't think of it as like downgrading but it's just that's just how it is now i've got my best friends are the greatest people on earth and that tear is firmly in place but time and space has has fluctuated in my friendships over the year and that someone who used to be a best friend is now a good friend that's not necessarily a downgrade it's just how life works maybe one of these days i'll do a enemy pyramid i wouldn't call it an enemy pyramid i think it's something cooler than that but but something that i learned in life that was a little bit later than probably i should have learned was that not everybody in life is going to like you and some people might not like you for no reason nothing you've done to them nothing you've said to them they're just grumpy they just have a sour outlook or whatever and they're not gonna like you but that's for another video this is the friendship pyramid so tell me what you think do you agree with the friendship pyramid is there something i missed is there a tier that i missed is there like a good friend section b you know whatever uh let me know comment down below thank you so much for watching this video and you made it all the way to the end and that's no mean feat because this is going to be a long one i can tell already so thank you i really appreciate that it means a lot to me that you would stick around for this long if you've not already please subscribe see this new video uh all the new content that's coming out in the next couple months and whatever we do some pretty cool stuff over on instagram at friend ever uh, wallpaper Wednesday, quotes on Thursdays, to do Tuesdays, you get a sneak preview of the thumbnail before the video comes out. Uh, just, just fun stuff. And if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. I don't want this to grow stagnant. I don't want it to grow cold. I want to just keep pushing and let's grow together in friendship and learn and love. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, send this video to your best friend, let them know that they're on that tier for you. And I will see you next time on friend ever.